In the name of all those present, I promise to take part in the Herefordshire School Games, respecting and abiding by the rules, in the true spirit of sportsmanship, for the success of sport and the honour of our teams. It gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you to the Herefordshire 2017 Winter School Games. Now, what makes an athlete, what makes a sportsman? Teamwork, strength, courage. But the two other things I think that are really important as well are compassion and kindness. I'm now going to invite to the stage two young people uh, who are going to tell you a little bit about their journey. Sport introduces new friends who get to go places like camps and races. For instance, this Sunday I'm flying up to New Yorker on a cycling training camp. I'll be doing 400 miles, climbing some of the biggest mountains in Europe. Two years ago, I wanted to dreamt of this opportunity, and now I am. And that's what today's being about. It's about being the best person that you can be. The Mayor talked about sportsmanship, and I hope we see that all through today's activities. Let the school games begin. So today at the Winter School Games we've got uh, a number of events, some primary focused, some high school focused and some of special school focused. So behind me uh, we've got going on the Arrows Archery which is for a number of our young people with special needs and they took part in football this morning. We've got high school competitions going on at the moment but we've also got uh, badminton finals. Now those finals, uh, the winners of that will go on to represent Herefordshire in the regional finals uh, further on down the line though. Of course we've seen a lot of different sports and lots of different aspects of sports so it's nice to see other schools competing. It's very nice being in teamwork, working with friends, um, getting to play a sport that I love with people that I love, it's just a lot of fun. The Games are, were put in place following our bid for the 2012 Olympic Games. So it's an Olympic legacy project and so the government wanted young people to really experience high level competition and so a four level process was put in place where young people play um, uh, sports within their own school, they play against each other within their own school, then they play against other schools uh, in their own area, then they may win right, the right to come through to the finals a county finals which is what we are here today. There's then a national games which is held uh, this will be held this September in Loughborough uh, where uh, 12 sports will come together and take part at a very high level competition. The smiles and the laughs from everyone really is to uh, have my self-confidence really it's boosted a lot of my self-esteem up and it's just been brilliant what i've been having to do is keep an eye on the kids make sure that they don't cheat on any of the games just make sure they follow the rules pretty much my confidence is definitely one thing that i've gained um obviously being able to say to people if i need to and we're just being able to do everything pretty much. I've gained skills in um, IT and media to um, make me feel more confident in front of the camera and behind the camera and it's just been great. Um, I'm personally very passionate about uh, about the Herefordshire Leadership Academy. I feel it's a, a real opportunity for kids to develop skills outside of the school environment in terms of making them employable uh, for future life. Um, they're here today and they've all gained in confidence uh, professionally. They've developed their skills with various sports. I mean, it's just lovely to, to watch them and see them outside on the courts, outside in the quick sticks, you know, umpiring and taking those skills on board. Um, um, so for me, I feel like we give them a, an additional support um, and I'm very proud to watch them today. They look, they look amazing. 
Hi, I'm Kirsten Mackay. I'm one of the current England and uh, GB goalkeepers and um, I returned from Rio Olympics in the summer um, and I'm here today to come down and see uh, the talent in front of me. I started out at Youth Games in Lancashire um, and I specifically remember an England under 21 uh, netballer coming down and introducing herself to me and kind of definitely inspired me to kind of, you know, try hard and, and work hard and, you know, who knows where it will take you and I, I still remember this to this day and I've always been determined to kind of spread that kind of inspiration and uh, hopefully inspire the next future. Well, we came here today because um, Will and I last year went to the Talent Inspiration Programme at Loughborough University. Um, we came here today to tell our story and to try and inspire the young people here and to help them achieve what they want to do. So the, the, the role of the school games for me, there, there's a number of different roles with it, but what it does is, first and foremost, I want it to inspire young people to try to be the best person they can be, not only in the sporting field, not only taking part in these competitions, but also as a kind of blueprint for their life, that if you persevere, if you try hard and you keep working at things, that you will achieve at the end of the day.